name is Daniel Agramont. For the past five years, my research agenda has been focused on China. The second conclusion is that the European Union should take action, should take measures to increase its presence in the region. This means to retreat from this position of the past two decades of decreasing the presence in Latin America, which has given way to other actors, such as China, to take its role. Europe, after so many decades of strong presence in Latin America, is now retreating, and despite the economic flows are still large, FDI, trade of goods, trade of services, the political presence, the diplomatic presence, and the cooperation between Europe and Latin America is decreasing so much that, according to the study, it's considered a strategic mistake. China's cooperation, based on its model of South-South cooperation, is proving successful in the region, and despite the large cooperation coming from Europe in the past, currently its political presence, its political support is minimal. China's increasing presence in Latin America is the result of a successful foreign policy by China. China not only increased economic flows, but accompanied this with political presence and with cooperation, which despite lower than Western cooperation, is proving more successful in the mind of Latin American people. This was done according to the white papers, to, to China's plan, but what people in Latin America see every day is a growing Chinese presence, not only private business, not only economic presence, but also this aforementioned political presence. And politicians and practitioners, what they receive from Europe every day is that Europe is in retreat. Europe taking back funds, closing cooperation, closing even embassies, consulates, showing that Latin America is not important anymore. And at the same time, Chinese officers expressing every day the importance that Latin America has for China.